I bet you're dreaming of traveling deep into space. But I'm just as sure you don't know even half of all those amazing things that are happening in our home solar system. Like ice-spewing volcanoes on Pluto, a potential giant planet lurking on the outskirts of our solar system beyond Neptune, or a giant canyon the size of the United States on Mars. <laughs> let's have a look. First of all, let's travel closer to our Sun and see how insanely massive it is. Want some proof? Well, 99.86% of all the mass of the solar system is the mass of the Sun. In particular, hydrogen and helium it's made of. The remaining 0.14% is mostly the mass of the solar system's eight planets. <laughs> I live on one of those. Oh, and even though you might not have noticed it, we live inside the Sun. Wait, I didn't mean we're the inhabitants of the red-hot ball of light approximately 93 million miles away. No, no. The fact is that the Sun's atmosphere stretches far beyond its visible surface, and our planet is right within its reach. In fact, it's the gusts of solar winds from the Sun which create such breathtaking phenomenon as the northern and southern lights. Oh, and while speaking of the solar system, you must know that it's a whopping 4.6 billion years old. Scientists came to this conclusion after they studied the oldest material they could get. I mean, meteorites, of course. The solar system is also breathtakingly vast. You'd have to travel 11 billion miles away from Earth before leaving it. Wow, just think of the frequent flyer miles you'd get. Uranus rotates on its side, and astronomers have no idea how the planet chose such an unusual position. The culprits could be ancient mega-powerful collisions, but so far, it's just a theory. By the way, Uranus is the only planet sitting on its side. Its equator is nearly at a right angle to its orbit. The ocean on Jupiter is larger than any other on the rest of the solar system's planets. But wait, it's not the ocean you think about. The one on Jupiter isn't made of water. It contains metallic hydrogen, and its depth is a staggering 25,000 miles. This is actually almost the same as the circumference of Earth. Volcanoes on Earth are different from those on Pluto, like fire and ice. And I mean it literally. While we have scorching hot lava spilling volcanoes on our planet, volcanoes on Pluto spit ice. When frozen, water expands, and this enormous pressure builds up until one day, bang, the ice erupts. In the process, a new cryovolcano is formed. By the way, as you may remember, Pluto used to be a planet, but this title was taken away in 2006 by some astronomical bureaucrats. Later, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet. But the most unexpected fact about this space body is that its diameter is smaller than that of the US. See for yourself. The greatest distance across the country, from Maine to Northern California, is about 2,700 miles. As for Pluto, it's only 1,470 miles across. Now, even if you're a tiny celestial body, you can still have a moon of your own. In 1993, the Galileo probe was traveling past a miniature asteroid that was no more than 20 miles across. Imagine astronomers surprised when it discovered that the little thing had a one-mile-wide moon. Since then, scientists have found tons of moons orbiting minor planets of our solar system. Jupiter's moon, Io, exists in eternal chaos due to hundreds of smoking volcanoes on its surface. If you decided to visit this place, you'd see the smoke from these volcanoes billowing up high into Io's atmosphere. At any given moment, here on Earth, you can stumble across a rock that once came from Mars. After scientists analyzed the chemical content of some meteorites found in the Sahara Desert, Antarctica, and other places all over our planet, they came to the shocking conclusion that lots of those have a Martian origin. In many sci-fi movies about space, the main character accidentally gets into an asteroid belt and has to try hard to get away from countless rocks that threaten to damage their spacecraft. Well, it's nothing like the real thing. The only asteroid belt astronomers know about is located between Mars and Jupiter. There are thousands of asteroids in this region, but they're so widely spaced that the chance of collision is almost zero. Now, beyond the orbit of Neptune, there's a mysterious Kuiper belt filled with massive icy objects. 
The most curious thing about this space formation, though, is that scientists fail to explain the pattern of its movement. The only explanation they have is that Neptune might be hiding from our sight a ginormous planet. This hypothetical planet has already got the name Planet 9. And all we have to do is wait until its existence is confirmed. Or not. Unlike what most people believe, there's water all over the solar system. And someone should wipe it up, huh? For starters, it's a pretty common component of comets and asteroids. You can find water in the shallowed craters of the Moon and Mercury. Mars has some ice at its poles, too. The same goes for smaller members of the solar system, like dwarf planet Ceres or Saturn's moon Enceladus. Astronomers even suspect that Jupiter's moon Europa might have some life. Under its frozen and cracked surface, there's likely to be liquid water. Europa is smaller than Earth, but it may host a giant and deep ocean that could contain twice as much water as all the oceans on our planet combined. Now, you might know that Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. It's also very dense, the second densest after Earth. But this mini-planet is getting even smaller and denser. After the Messenger spacecraft did its first orbital mission at Mars and mapped the entire planet, astronomers found out that Mercury is very likely to be a tectonically active planet. On its surface, there are cliff-like landforms, also known as fault scarps. They're quite small, which makes scientists think that they appeared not so long ago. In other words, the planet might still be contracting. Now, look at these magnificent rings. You can say without any doubt that this planet is Saturn. People have known about its rings since the 1600s when the first telescopes were invented. But Saturn isn't that unique. Nowadays, we know that every planet in the outer solar system – Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, and Jupiter – has a system of rings. And since we've started talking about the planets of the outer solar system, let's have a look at Neptune. This ice giant is around 30 times as far from the Sun as our home planet, which means it gets less light and heat from our star. But the planet radiates a lot more heat than it's taking. If we compare Neptune to nearby Uranus, we'll see that even though Uranus is closer to the Sun, it emits almost the same amount of heat as Neptune. Astronomers haven't figured out why it happens yet. One of the most unusual moons in the outer solar system is Uranus's moon Miranda. It has craters, sharp ridges, and other bizarre disruptions on its surface. Such phenomena are usually the result of volcanic activity. But Miranda is way too small to generate such a large amount of heat on its own. Astronomers think that it might be the gravitational pull from Uranus that heats and contorts Miranda's surface. But so far, it's just a theory. And there's no truth to the story that Miranda has a brother moon, Lin-Manuel. Finally, our solar system isn't the only one in the Milky Way galaxy. Far from it. The galaxy we live in houses over 100 billion solar systems. And if it's just our galaxy alone, what can we say about the whole universe? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.